Setting up your first jewelry studio. Very exciting. You need to answer some questions first. There are four categories of questions you need to answer when setting up your first jewelry studio. We'll cover all four in this video. By answering these questions, the setup and building of your studio will be easier, less frustrating, save you money, and be a more enjoyable and successful jewelry studio build. I'm Greg Greenwood and welcome to my studio. The first question you need to answer is location. What kind of space do you have? Let's take a look at some spaces that might be available to you. Your basement can be a great option. Or maybe a small storage corner under the basement stairs. Do you have a spare room or even a closet? How about a laundry room? Do you have a garage? A garden shed is an excellent spot for a studio. If you just don't have a space or you have restrictions in your building, look into co-op workspaces in your community. These can be great networking opportunities also. The second question you need to answer is, what kind of bench is best for you? There are many pre-made jewelry industry standard benches with a wide range of options and prices. If you're not a DIY person, then this is a good option for you. Let's take a look at some other bench options. Pre-made universal workbenches with metal legs and wooden tops. These can be moderately inexpensive and are solidly built benches. This wooden workbench has convenient built-in drawers. The hardwood top will take a beating if needed. Thrift stores have bargain price desks that can be retrofitted into inexpensive benches. Using scrap wood and a few screws, you can build a bench that is either a standalone or a built-in bench that fits your studio space perfectly. A portable or temporary option can be a foldable workbench base. By adding a snug fit wooden top, you will have a bench that can be stored anywhere when not in use. I use this bench for off-site demonstrations. It is even sturdy enough to hold an anvil. Computer tables make excellent jewelry benches. Many models are adjustable, so you can customize the height very, very easily. Kitchen counters and tables can be easy to use jewelry bench options. By clamping on a piece of plywood or other smooth surface to the counter or table, you don't have to worry about scratching any expensive surfaces. The third question you need to consider is, what is the best layout design or footprint that works for you? Do you want to stay in one spot with all the work areas on your bench? Or do you want to move to different work areas throughout your studio? There are five basic types of work areas. The bench is a must-have area. A soldering area is a must where you need a forging and forming area. A polishing machine area is a must unless you're going to only be polishing with your flexible shaft. Will you be using other equipment such as rolling mills, drill presses, casting equipment, or specialty equipment like plating and electroforming, laser engraving, 3D printing, etc. Other considerations in your layout design are, will you have a sink or other water source? A ventilation system should be a consideration. I have a video 
jury soldering bench ventilation systems that will give you several ventilation options. I have a link at the end of this video for your convenience. Building or insurance restrictions. Please check into these. This could save you some problems in the future. Will you be making a lot of noise by forging and forming? How will you prevent being that noisy neighbor? The fourth question to answer is, what kind of storage of tools and parts will be compatible with your studio layout? Well, let's take a look at some examples that may work for you. A toolbox with drawers is a great starter option. You can move it to any work area and clean up is easy. This is my first toolbox from college. I kept my few tools in it and bolted it to the classroom table. My first studio. I still use it today under my bench. Pegboards for hammers and other tools keep your tools organized. Custom hooks can be used anywhere. Magnets are versatile and are good additions. Drilling holes in boards is an economical solution. Tool carousels save a lot of space. Containers and parts drawers are a must have. PVC pipes can organize a number of your tools and can be put in hundreds of configurations. Shelves and cabinets should be used anywhere and everywhere. Setting up your first jewelry studio is an exciting and fun time. By answering these questions before and during your studio setup and build, you will enjoy the process more and end up with a successful working jewelry studio. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. I really appreciate it and I appreciate your comments too. I'm Greg Greenwood. I'll see you next time. <music>